Today in this 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek, we're going to be taking a look at the 23 by 47 car pod walled cargo carrier, part number M2205. This has a carrying capacity of 450 pounds. It has a mesh floor, which makes it easy to clean. It also has this kind of mesh walls here, which also make those easy to clean. Now, the height of the walls from the base here, it's going to be about 22 inches. And to load it up, just pull the two pins out of the front. You can lower the front end here to actually put your gear in. Let me insert those pins for now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you some measurements now. Measuring from the bumper to our edge here, it's going to be about 37 inches that we've added to the rear of the vehicle. From our edge here, our ground clearance is going to be about 17 and a half inches. And then our closest point, which looks to be this portion here, from also, again from the bumper, it's going to be about five and a half inches. Now because of its raised shank and the fact that the exhaust is going to be on the passenger side and facing down away from the cargo carrier, I don't think you have to worry too much about any heat sensitive material when you're loading that up. Now unfortunately with this position, we do not have access to our rear hatch. However, if you wanted to gain access, you just pull the pins at the four corners. and go ahead and fold them flat. Now to keep them in place, this cargo carrier also comes with a strap to hold them all down once you do so. Spin this out, let that fall down. And then we'll take our strap and start guiding that through. just a little bit, so you get some slack there. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and put the one end down, take the other end of our strap, feed it through our cam buckle here. Pull it tight, and now it's not going anywhere, and now we have full access to our rear hatch to get whatever it is we need. Now another nice feature about this cargo carrier is that it can fold up. Just pull the pin and clip here, then just push up. Realign the holes at the bottom here. Then I'll go ahead and give you those measurements again real quick. From our bumper to this edge here, we have now have added about 11 and a quarter inches to the rear of our vehicle. Our new ground clearance is going to be about 13 inches. And our closest point is going to be this rail here. It's going to be about 5 inches from the bumper now. This cargo carrier does not come with its own pin and clip. However, you can find one on eTrailer.com. Today we use part number PC3. And there you have it for the car pod walled cargo carrier. Part number M2205 on our 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 